Howdy folks, Larry Leroy Lawrence the last coming to you from the farm. Got a little something I'm doing today I thought I'd share with you. Most of my videos are kind of funny videos, but every now and again I like to do one that's instructional. Uh, you folks up north every now and again means sometime. So every now and again I do something that's instructional and that's what I'm doing today. I'm going to start me a, or try to start me a little hive or two of honeybees. There seems to be a, a shortage in uh, uh, something going on. They call it the uh, colony collapse syndrome. They got a little name for it. But we're losing a lot of our honeybees. So I thought I'd give it a shot. And I uh, got online and I learned how to make a uh, swarm trap. So what I'm going to try to do is trap a swarm that's coming from somewhere, maybe out in the woods or, or another uh, beekeeper's bees or something. But uh, anyway, that's what this box is. I thought I'd share it with you and explain it to you. Uh, those of you that might want to build one yourself, I'll give you an idea of sizes. This, this front and back is 21 by 11. Uh, the top and bottom are 10 by 21, and then the sides are 11 by 9. You know, and then I'll just take a little scrap piece of board to, to put in the back. And then I've got a little ledge I put on the inside uh, to hold my frames, which I'm going to put in in just a minute. Um, several things you have to do. Uh, obviously get you some frames to put in it and if you can get it which i got from one of the local beekeepers is a, a, a medium frame that's got some uh, old uh, brood wax on it and i'm going to put that in there and then i've taken some uh, lemongrass oil and i went ahead and doctored the inside of this with lemongrass oil with a q-tip and i'm just going to put that q-tip over in here to keep that smell in there uh, so if you want to do it, make sure you get some of that uh, lemon lemongrass oil and put in there. Uh, anyway, I've got that frame I'm going to put in, and then this box will hold six frames. I can go ahead and put those in there like such. <clears throat> now these are the uh, solid plastic frames. Now they are sprayed with some with some beeswax, so they have the smell. And I decided to go with these type frames because it looks like they'll last forever. You know, take a little bit of care of them. And uh, hopefully we'll catch us a swarm of bees over the next couple of weeks. Now what I've done, and the way I've decided, that there's lots of ways to make these boxes. And you can go online and, and uh, get plans or watch other people's videos or whatever you want to do. And come up with several ways. But... What I've decided is just tap that top down there with about four nails. And then uh, when I get ready to take it off, I can take it off. And I leave just a hair bit sticking out. And uh, there again, for you northern folks, a hair bit means a little bit. I leave a little bit sticking out so uh, I can come back later with my hammer and pull those off to get that top off of there. So. Now the trap's ready. Oh, one thing I failed to mention, I put two one-inch holes, and I've got some wire mesh behind there, some uh, about half-inch square wire, uh, so predators can't get in there, but the bees can. So, that said, it's ready to hang in a tree. Now, I just drove a nail in a tree, a big 16-penny nail, and uh, put a hole in here, and I'm just going to hang it, and we'll see what happens. Other people hang them on limbs and put straps, and I may come back and put some straps. I don't know, but... I'm going to try to get up this ladder and put this up there without falling and breaking my neck. I don't need anybody to call OSHA because I'm not really following all that. But anyway. There we go. It's, uh, it's in place. Now it's recommended that you put your hole and your trap facing to the south, and that's what I've got done here. So, hey, if you don't mind, subscribe to my channel, and uh, I'll do videos in the future. Hopefully, I'll have a video showing where we've got us a swarm of bees. But until next time, Larry Leroy Lawrence, the last saying, see ya.